When you see or hear the word mule, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? I hope that you're thinking about the offspring of a donkey and a horse. Mule can mean different things, but in the perspective of cloud computing, it is a much bigger term than just an offspring. I'm Jordan, and join me in this brand new tutorial as we introduce Paas, a cloud computing model, and MuleSoft. Today's objectives include the following. One, learn about Paas as a model of cloud computing. Number two, introduce MuleSoft and identify how it serves as a Paas product. Number three, why is MuleSoft helpful in businesses? Number four, learn about MuleSoft on a high level manner. Number five, discover API-led connectivity approach. Number six, identify MuleSoft basic tools and features and understand how it is being used. And number seven, learn how to create a basic Mule project. Ready to take another journey to the world of cloud computing? Well, if you are, let's get the session started. So another service model of cloud computing is Platform as a Service, or POS. POS offers hardware and software tools over the internet. It enables developers to collaborate across different geographic locations and is a significant layer of application infrastructure that supports the implementation and integration of businesses. POS offers developmental tools, middleware, operating systems, database management, and infrastructure. One of the in-demand cloud services nowadays is MuleSoft. What is MuleSoft and why is it making an impact on businesses? Mule is a lightweight Java-based middleware technology, specifically an Enterprise Services Bus, or ESP, that offers hybrid integration allowing businesses to connect both on-premise and cloud applications. One of its advantages is that it follows an API-led diagram which enables integration of existing systems through the use of APIs and regardless of the technology that the application uses, including web services, JDBC, HTTP, JMS, and more. So let's take a little trip to history. MuleSoft was founded by Ross Mason in 2006. By creating a line of code, Ross had an idea to reuse custom codes efficiently, making integration easier and faster. According to the company itself, the Mule name comes from the drudgery or, quote, docky work of data integration that the platform created to escape. Also, comparing it to the animal Mule, it has a strength to deliver heavy workload and speed of a racehorse to complete work quickly. MuleSoft was acquired by Salesforce on May 2 of 2018. One of MuleSoft's concepts involves integrating independent systems or applications by putting a communication bus in between the layers, making it loosely coupled and scalable. What sets MuleSoft apart from other ESP products is that Mule is a lightweight integration platform and it uses an API-led connectivity approach that allows developers to reuse discoverable assets with or without applying code changers. This allows MuleSoft application to become scalable, more accessible, and attain better speed and boost productivity. MuleSoft's API-led connectivity approach allows APIs to quickly adapt to vast changes and increasing technology demands in the business. There are three categories used for API-led connectivity, such as System API, Process API, and Experience API. System API is the foundation layer of three-level architecture, which contains records and sensitive information, which should not be directly exposed to end users. Process API are responsible for orchestrating, aggregating, splitting, or validating data from experience layer to system layer and vice versa. Experience layer contains APIs, which are exposed to consumers or the end users. MuleSoft as a cloud service has a variety of tools to help users test and design its applications. First on the list is AnyPoint Studio, an Eclipse-based drag-and-drop integration development environment, or IDE, used for designing, developing, and testing Mule applications. AnyPoint Studio is free and available for download at MuleSoft's website. This studio can be run on a local machine, it has visual editors, and has an embedded unit testing framework. 
any point platform, on the other hand, is a unified hybrid integration platform that allows users to create a seamless application network of applications, data, and devices. The platform provides capability to design, deploy, and manage applications both on-premise and in the cloud. AnyPoint platform has different components which consists of Design Center, AnyPoint Exchange, and Management Center that contains Access Management, API Manager, Runtime Manager, Visualizer, Monitoring, and Secrets Manager, or Vault Technology. Design Center is a web-based environment in which we design API specifications with mocking service, build integration flows using Visual Interface, and connect APIs. AnyPoint Exchange contains assets composed of connectors, templates, and examples, and APIs available for the use and are also accessible from AnyPoint Studio. This is where we get our Salesforce connector for MuleSoft. The last tool that we will be featuring is the Management Center, which is also a web interface used for administering MuleSoft deployed applications. It has access management that allows configuring accesses and permissions within the organization and, depending on the access level, manages the users and the roles. Next is the API Manager. It is where we can apply different policies, SLA agreement, and other securities for the API. Runtime Manager is a tool used to deploy and manage all of your Mule applications from one central location, whether your apps are running in the cloud or on-premises. Monitoring tab gives administrators and developers visibility. We can learn more about MuleSoft by taking self-paced training, which are offered for free, instructional training, or private training. You simply have to visit this website and register. Upon signing up, you will be granted access to the AnyPoint platform good for 30 days. MuleSoft certifications are offered according to different knowledge levels, and each certificate is good for up to two years. Each certificate is renewable by taking the exam again. Now here are the MuleSoft certifications available. Now that we've discussed the basics of MuleSoft and the list of its tools and how it's being used, let's move forward to the application part. Learn how to create a basic Mule project in just a few minutes with the step-by-step -step guide. Step one, in any point studio, create a new project. Select file, new, new project. After creating a new new project, a module box will pop up. Fill up the following details and then click finish. Project name, runtime, default workspace location. Afterwards, a project application will be visible on your project explorer. In the Mule palette, look for the HTTP listener, then Drag the HTTP listener to your workspace canvas. The next step will be configuring the HTTP listener in the Mule properties. To add a new HTTP configuration, cut the plus sign behind the configuration. A module box will pop up. A default setting value will automatically fill up. Now, proceed with the testing of the HTTP connection by clicking Test Connection. Once successful, click OK. Now you have created a connector configuration. So let's go back to your new properties, add your connector configuration, and add a path. Next, look for a set payload in the Mule palette and drag it in the workspace canvas. Configure the set payload to output a hello world. There are two ways to declare the value of hello world. First is declare as a string. The other one is as a string in mail. Don't forget to save the changes and run the application. There are two ways on how to run the application. The first one is to run the application in the Run tab by clicking Run. To run the application, right-click in the Workspace Canvas, then click Run Project. In the console, wait for the application to be deployed. And for the final step in creating your new project, run the application in the Postman or browser. Congratulations on creating your first Mule application. Make sure you keep your notes and follow each step by heart. Found yourself overwhelmed with all the information we tackled today? 
Don't worry, let's have a recap of all the things you need to learn about MuleSoft. Mule is a lightweight Java-based middleware technology, specifically an Enterprise Services Bus, or ESP, that offers hybrid integration allowing businesses to connect both on-premise and cloud applications. Founded by Ross Mason in 2006, one of its advantages is that it follows an API-led diagram which enables integration of existing systems through the use of APIs and regardless of the technology that the application uses. MuleSoft has different tools available in its arsenal such as AnyPoint Studio, AnyPoint Platform, Design Center, AnyPoint Exchange, and the Management Center. All tools mentioned have different capabilities and you can learn more of their features by registering at this link. Hope you learned something from our session about MuleSoft. We have lots of content prepared for you, so stay tuned as we tour you deeper into the world of cloud computing. Till the next tutorial, 